hello students i welcome you all to my channel engineers academy do subscribe my channel if you haven't done it yet now we are going to solve this problem which says that if the intensity of the distributed load acting on the beam is 3 kN per meter determine the reactions at the roller a and pin b so here at a we have the roller support and at b we have the pin support so we have to find the support reactions and this 4 meter part of the beam is under this distributed load of intensity equals to 3 kN per meter. So the resultant of this distributed load will be acting at the geometric center of this rectangular area. And that resultant will be equal to the area of this rectangle. So that resultant will be uh, if we consider this as a free body diagram, so that resultant will be acting at a distance of 2 meters from this point B. Since the geometric center of this rectangular area will be at a distance of 2 meters from point B. So here we will have that uh, resultant of that uh, distributed load. And this resultant must be acting at a distance of uh, 2 meters from this point B. And its magnitude will be equal to that uh, area of this rectangle so the area of this rectangle is this w multiplied by 4 so w is 3 kilonewtons so 4 into 3 so we can write that this is uh, 3 kilonewton per meter multiplied by 4 meters meter will cancel out and this will be 12 kilonewton so this is 12 kilonewton and at A we have the roller support so we will have the uh, support reaction in this direction perpendicular to this incline which is making 30 degree. So we will have that uh, let's say this is an A and at B we will have two support reactions. Let's say that we have BX let's say and let's say we have BY. So we are required to find this N A. Uh, uh, let's say this is this is not N A. Let's say this is the support reaction A. So we have to find this A B X and B Y. So now uh, to find these reactions, uh, we need to apply the summation of moment about this point B. So in order to apply the summation of moment about point B, we have to resolve this A support reaction at point A. So now as we can see that this A is perpendicular with this line which is making 30 degree and if I draw a vertical line so this vertical line is going to be perpendicular with this horizontal line. So this force is perpendicular with this line and this vertical line is perpendicular with the horizontal line. Now the angle between this line and this line is 30 degrees and the angle between this line and this line is also 30 degrees. So this means that the, this, the A reaction is going to make 30 degrees with the vertical. So we have that same 30 degree angle. So now we can resolve this A support reaction. So we will have two components. We will have one component like this and we will have one component in this direction. So this component is the cost component since the angle is made with this component. So we can say that uh, this component is A cos of 30 and this component is A sine of 30. So now since this beam uh, is in equilibrium, so we have to apply the summation of forces, uh, the, the summation of moment about point B, this must be equals to zero and the counterclockwise moment is assumed to be positive. So as we can see that uh, this sine component of A is producing the clockwise moment about this point B. So we will write minus, since the clockwise moment is considered to be negative, A sine of 30 and the perpendicular distance of this sine component from that point B is this distance, this, this vertical distance. This vertical distance will be the moment arm of this sine component. So if we consider a right angle triangle here, let's say if we consider a right angle triangle here. So this perpendicular of this triangle will be the moment arm of this sine component. So let me draw a triangle here. Let's say that we have that right angle triangle here. 
So if this length is, if the hypotenuse of this triangle is 3 meters, this is given, this is 3 meters and this is 30, then this is 3 sine of 30. This is 3 sine of 30. So the moment arm of this sine component from that point B is 3 sine of 30. So I will multiply this with 3 sine of 30. Similarly, this cos component of A is producing the clockwise moment as well. So I will write minus A cos of 30. And the moment arm of this cos component from that point B is this perpendicular distance. So this distance is 4 plus 3 cos of 30. This length is 3 cos of 30. So 4 plus 3 cos of 30 is the moment arm of this cos component. So we will multiply this with 4 plus 3 cos of 30 degrees. And similarly, this R is producing the counterclockwise moment about this point B. So I will write plus. So we can write that plus R. R magnitude is 12 kilonewton. So 12 multiplied by the perpendicular distance. So the perpendicular distance of this R from that point B is 2 meters. This is the moment arm. So I will multiply this with 2. And this is equal to 0. This Bx and By, they are not going to produce the moment about this point B since they are passing through this point B. Their moment arm is 0 from this point B. So now we can find this A. Uh, in this equation, we have only one variable and that is that A's roller support. So we can take A minus A common from both of these terms. So let me take this minus a is common so we will write it like this this will become plus and we need to remove a so we will have the equation like this so now let's find this this is uh, in the brackets we have the sine of 30 sine of 30 into 3 sine of 30 plus cos of 30 into 4 plus 3 cos of 30 so this gives us minus since we have minus a and from brackets we got 6.464 and if i bring this to the other side of the equation it will become negative so we will have minus 24 kilonewton this is in kilonewton right so <clears throat> this will be if we divide both sides of equation by minus 6.464 so this will cancel out we will get a equals to minus 24 divided by minus 6.464 this gives us the a magnitude equals to 3.713 kilonewton so this is the support reaction at that roller at point a Similarly, if we apply the summation of forces along uh, x, that must be equal to 0. This is our towards the right is our positive x direction. So now as we can see that we have this sine component of A. So we can write that this is plus. Now A magnitude is known which is 3.713 sine of 30. And we have this Bx, it is acting in the positive x. So I will write plus Bx and this is equal to 0. And from this we can say that Bx is equal to minus 3.713 sine of 30. So minus 3.713 sine of 30. This gives us Bx equals to minus one point. 857 kilonewton now the minus sign tells us that the we need to reverse the direction of this bx the assumed direction of bx is not accurate so bx is acting in the opposite direction so the minus sign tells us that the assumed direction the initial direction of bx is not accurate bx is acting in the opposite direction of the assumed direction so bx magnitude is 1.857 and it is acting towards the left Similarly, if we, uh, since the beam is in equilibrium, we can apply the summation of forces along y that must be equal to 0 and in the upward direction that is our positive y direction. 
So now as we can see that we have this a cos of 30 in the positive y, so I will write plus. And a magnitude is 3.713 cos of 30. Then we have that resultant in the negative y direction, which is 12 kilonewtons, so I will write minus 12. And we have this by in the upward direction, so I will write plus by and this is equal to 0. So now from this we can write that by is equal to plus 12 minus 3.713 cos of 30. So this is 12 minus 3.713 cos of 30. This gives us by equals to 8.784 kilonewtons. So, so this is by magnitude. So this is the solution of this particular problem. I hope it will help you in your learning. Do subscribe Engineers Academy for the solution of such more problems related to engineering statics by Hibbler.